Chapter 11 Lightworks Lightworks is a free yet powerful video editing software. With the help of this software, you can make a professional movie by importing your videos, photos and audios into the program from your PC or selected devices and then apply special effects, transitions to make them even more appealing and attractive. Using it, you can make movies on various occasions like school presentation, family functions, birthday parties, etc. Features of Lightworks The following features of Lightworks makes it an amazing video editing software. Simple and intuitive user interface, easy timeline editing and trimming, wide file format support including variable frame rate media, Access to free audio and video content. Starting Lightworks To open Lightworks, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on Start. All Programs. Lightworks. Step 2. The Lightworks application opens in Project Browser View. The first time you start Lightworks, the project browser displays a grid of blank tiles. Existing Lightworks projects display as tiles with a title in the tile header. Creating a new project To create a new project, follow the steps given below. Step 1 Click on the Create a new project link. Step 2 A new project details dialog box will open. Type a name for your project in the name box. Select the frame rate for the media in your project. Click Create. Step 3. A new empty project is created with the Log tab selected. User Interface The Log tab is used to open four tiles on screen with unique features. The edit view contains various project assets on upper left tile. It helps to view selected videos, edit timeline, control specific marked portions of videos and allows thumbnail dragging. VFX Visual fixation view helps to manage size of the viewer so that effect settings can be easily managed. It also assists in alignment of titles and subtitles. The audio view handles the audio waveforms at bottom of desktop and also helps to control settings and assists in meter bar tracking. Importing Media Step 1 Make sure you have the Edit or Log tab selected. Step 2 Click on the Local Files tab. Step 3 Click on the Places tab to navigate to the drive and folder you require. If the frame rate of a clip is not compatible with your project, it displays in red. You will not be able to import the clip in your project. Step 4. Now double-click on your desired video clip that you want to import. If you want to import multiple files, then use Ctrl or Shift key for selections. Files can be brought to timeline using import option or via drag and drop tools. Tracks Once you have a few clips in the timeline, look at the left side of the timeline and you will notice a vertical track list. The video clip you imported will be listed as V1 and if it has any embedded audio, you will see those clips as well in their own tracks and they will be listed as A1, A2, etc. You can give your tracks different names. All you need to do is hover your cursor over the V1 in the track list, then right-click, then choose Rename from the menu. Marking a section on a clip you can define shorter sections of clips by creating marks in the timeline of the source or main clip or imported clip. Mark and Park 
The easiest way to mark a section from a longer clip is to use the mark and park function. You can mark a clip with an in and out point. Step 1. Load your clip into the media viewer. Step 2. Stop the media at the position in the timeline where you want the in point. Step 3. Click the in point button. Step 4. Move the current frame to where you want the section to end. Step 5. The section between the mark and current frame is now selected. Adding effects. Visual effects are used to add special effects to both photos and videos. These effects enhance the visual appeal of the movies and include choices for making color effects. To add visual effects to photos and videos in your movie, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select VFX tab. Step 2. Use Mark and Park to highlight where you want to add your effect. Step 3. Click the Add Effect button plus. Step 4. Select the Effects category containing the effect you want from the drop-down list. Step 5. Click the Apply Effect button. Step 6. The effect is inserted into the timeline. Play video and notice the change. Adding Text Effect Titles, Captions and Credits are text-based information added to the movie. Titles are added to the beginning of the clip while credits are added at the end of the entire project. Captions are added as text to an individual clip to provide information. To add the text effects, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the VFX tab, then open the drop-down menu at the top right of the effects list, plus and choose text from the menu. Step 2. Choose the text effect style by double clicking on it. Settings panel will open. Here you can type your text at the place where sample text is written. You can choose from a variety of formatting tool for your text. Like font, text size, font, bold and italic. Face. To adjust the color of your text. Position, move the text around the screen, etc. Step 3. Press Enter. The text effect has been inserted. Play the video to see the effect. Adding audio files. You can add audio tracks to your clips or add instrumental tracks to make your project more appealing. Step 1. Right-click on the clip where you want to add an audio file. Step 2. From the menu that opens, select Sequence Commands, Tracks, Add Audio. Step 3. The new track is inserted ahead of the audio track you selected and the tracks are renumbered in the sequence A1, A2, A3 and so on. Adding Transitions Transitions are applied to add visual effects to the movie. These are used to add connectivity to the scenes of a movie. Transitions can be added between two images, video clips or titles and are applied to the selected clip. Step 1. Select the Edit tab or VFX tab. Step 2. Click the plus sign at the top of the effects list. Then click the drop-down menu at the top right of the effects panel and select Mix. Step 3. Now a list of transition effects will open. Select the transition of your choice. Step 4. Double-click to add the desired effect to your clip. Trimming Media Clips Trimming clips in your clips 
allows you to reduce the duration of a video clip. This can be achieved by using the trim tool. It allows you to select a video clip within your sequence and trim as much of the middle of a clip as you require and it will join the beginning and end to form a new sequence. To trim a clip, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Move your cursor over the beginning or ending edge of a clip in the timeline. You will see white brackets appear. Click the left mouse button. Step 2. Right click on the clip that you want to trim and from the menu that opens, select segment commands, trim in or trim out. Brackets display in yellow on the clip, denoting that it has been disconnected from the clip. Step 3. Shorten or lengthen the clip by mouse. The mouse left or right while holding down the left button of the mouse. Release the left button to set the cut point. Exporting a movie As soon as your editing task is complete, then you can easily export your video clip out of the Lightworks. To export a clip or a subclip, follow the given steps. Step 1 Simply right-click on the edited clip, sequence or timeline and from drop-down menu, select Export option. Step 2 Choose your export format. It allows users to make selections between camera formats, media files, interchange, backup, targets, etc. Step 3. It will open up the dialog box for export option with selected format type. Step 4. Complete all the settings and then click the start button. The export process will start in the background. A progress panel will open and you will see a progress bar that tells you how much longer it will take to fully process and export your video.